YouTube crazy mother lovers, what are you doing today? Hopefully having greatness raining down upon you as I uh, go through my uh, self uh, <laughs> therapeutic rant. Oh my gosh, I would absolutely pop if I couldn't get this off of my chest. So, uh, this dude has like lit up uh, the everything the other day. Uh, this is Tom Hanks' kid. And evidently, he's a rapper now. Now, I, I knew about Tom Hanks' kid earlier because he's got like he's completely covered in tattoos, and he's um, you know like I, we're at the point now where some people have so many tattoos that we're just gonna have to they're gonna have to provide people that don't have tattoos a map of what they're trying to convey. And <laughs> right in the middle of this dude's chest is uh, uh, a uh, uh, oh, it's that eye in the py uh, pyramid that's on the dollar bill or whatever. You know, it's supposed to be the uh, uh, Freemason sign, and I don't know all the conspiracy theories go uh, with it. Well, anyway, he's got that, so that's how I heard of it. But anyway, Chet Hanks, and he uh, spells his name H A N X because he also happens to be America's most predominant white rapper. Uh, he is an anti vacciner and <laughs> if you remember last year. Uh, Tom and uh, what's her name Rita whatever her name is the wife the mom of uh, Chet here uh, they were stuck in Australia uh, with um, uh, they had come down with the coronavirus and they couldn't leave Australia and I don't know what happened after that it was just uh, it was weird but they're back in America and uh, Chet is like well he's just being he's just being based he just says no, you know, like, and here's the thing. I don't care. Like, do what you want to do. Listen to your doctors. Listen to scientists. Do all your stuff you want to do. But at the end of the day, what we've come down to is, is that this is politics. And so when it comes, when the politics crosses over to pop culture, that's hilarious to me. All right. So that's all. So don't take down my video, uh, Mr. Google. Uh, <laughs> we are having fun with this. So here we go. Chet Hanks, now, now this is controversial because he defends himself. Wasn't it last week, weren't the people that had uh, been vaccinated were spreading the virus? See, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm not, I, don't even, I don't even play one on TV. Uh, I haven't played one in a long time. Anyway, uh, if that's his girlfriend, man, we need to see more of her. But uh, that's not because he is not this little scrawny guy anymore. So uh, Chet says... Uh, he insists uh, there's more evidence of UFOs being real than the coronavirus vaccine being healthy for people. Hey, they did. Uh, you know, don't forget, your government told you that UFOs are real this year. Uh, this year, the musician whose famous parents, Tom and Rita Wilson, I don't even know who Rita Wilson is, uh, were among the first high-profile people to contract the virus in March of 2020, came under fire earlier this week. Chet did. Uh, after saying he won't have a jab, have the jab. I love how it's become the jab for everybody. The jab was an anti uh, thing, and now it's become a pro thing. And it's not it's not a pro word. It's a boxing term for you know. I mean, it's how you hit somebody. Anyway, the jab, and he's now defending uh, his stance, arguing that there's no need to tamper with his immune system. Hmm. Uh, he said in a new video shared to Instagram, just like you have the right to be mad at me because I said I'm going to get the vaccine. Oh, oh, excuse me. So this is he started this video. I saw, I watched the video. I don't have a link to it. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, he he did the video. And he's sitting there in his car, and he's just like real serious, real somber. He goes, uh, just like and he's saying all this stuff. He goes, uh, just like you have the right to be mad at me because I said I'm going to get the vaccine. Just like you have a right to be mad, I have a right to not get that shiz nittle. Uh, I wanted to, but my immune system said it's good, okay? It doesn't need to be tampered with. It said it's good. That's how he talked in the thing, roughly. Uh, let's be real. 99% of you mother effers. <laughs> ah, let me reread that as you mother lovers. Uh, wouldn't use a shampoo that's not FDA approved. God, man, that hits home. That hits home. You know that. No, wait, there's the organic people. 
Uh, but you're willing to get some experimental government injection? Okay. There's more evidence for UFOs being real than the vaccine being healthy for you. Dude, I mean, he this does not fit the narrative chat. Uh, of course, though, he also did a video this year for the song that he uh, wrote and sung called White Boy Summer. And I have a feeling that one is, uh, if it's anything like his stance on vaccines, it is a, uh, a uh, masterpiece, <laughs> I'm sure. A few uh, days ago, Chet posted a video which he initially seemed to urge his followers to get vaccinated. That's why I thought I was originally reading. Uh, before yelling, psych! And swiftly changing his stance. He did, man. He was all somber. He was all like, oh, he's like crying. He's like, oh, I just everybody to get it. Uh, I think it's psych! He said, uh, I've been on the fence about this for a while. Oh, okay. Here, here they, they got the transcript. Here we go. I'm going to read the, the... I lost it. It's gone. It went away. They really did. They deleted it on me. Those... Bastards. But I have a record. Yes. I mean, they really did. How did that get deleted? I touched nothing. Uh, see here. Uh, I've been on the fence about this for a while. Uh, that's why I never spoke on it. But with the... Um... Okay, I have to make sure this is recording. But with the uh, amount of people I know recently who have gotten COVID... And with the numbers rising, I just, I, I, it's important for me to say I got the vaccine, and I think everybody should. It's really important that we all do this. I suggest all my followers, you guys set an appointment and get the vaccine first thing. Psych! That's exactly how he did it. I mean, it was awesome. He goes, uh, bitch, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I never had COVID. You ain't sticking me with that mother-loving needle. Chet went on to brand the virus the mother love and flu, told Americans to get over it, and suggested that those who are at high risk should simply stay inside so that others can get on with leading a normal life. Uh, he, he, there is, uh, you, that's unique. Anyway, uh, he said, why are we working around y'all? If you, you're in danger, stay your ass inside. I'm tired of wearing a mother loving mask. Earlier this year, Rita urged people to be vaccinated against the virus as she reflected on it being one year since her, she and her beautiful Day in the Neighborhood actor and husband contracted COVID-19. Did she really say beautiful Day in the Neighborhood actor husband? So she promoted a movie. Oh, jeez. They're getting paid. Uh, she wrote on Instagram, One year ago today, I was playing the Sydney Opera House. I don't even know what she looks like, guys. I really don't. I, I don't know her. I don't care about her. She wasn't in uh, Aliens. That was Sigourney Weaver. She wasn't in uh, Terminator. That was Linda Hamilton. Um, you know, you go to current times, it's like, I don't know any of these chicks that are in these things because they all just cry and are trying to be a man. Um, oh, wait, I know uh, Gina Carano. She's not Gina Carano, I can tell you that. Gina Carano is awesome. Uh, so she was in the opera house. The next day, she started feeling very tired and achy. Two days later, hospitalized with COVID-19. You know what? Uh, yesterday, I broke my uh, uh, step record. Uh, and then the uh, day before that, I was right below it. I think it was like the third most steps I had in a day. Uh, and then yesterday, I broke it. And um, today, I'm uh, tired and achy. So after two days uh, of that, now I'm tired I'm achy. And... Um, I've uh, been out and washed a car in, let's see, what does it say? 90 degree temperature here in August with like 89% humidity. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to take a moment and see how grateful we are for our health, how thankful we are for our medical care we got in Queensland. You know, they're under lockdown by the military. Their own military is being used against them. They're pointing guns at them if they try to leave the their front door. No, I'm not giving a history lesson of the Revolutionary War. Uh, I think we have our medical care we got in Queensland. We share the star of each person who lost a lot with this virus. What is that happened that like you cannot lose somebody to Corona? I mean, you know what? These people, I mean, these are the same assholes that are sitting around. They're the ones why we have to have a sneeze shield. 
Okay? Salad bars, you shouldn't have to have a big old piece of plexiglass hanging down in your face all the time. But it's because assholes don't cover their face. Y'all are some dirty people out there. Don't poop in public. If you're pooping in public, you're spreading this stuff. Okay? But th so don't go around then and try to get on your uh, Jesus Christ uh, uh, pony and say, I am so much holier than everybody else because I am the holiest. Look at me. I am proclaiming I am. That's all you're doing. Gosh. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, wait a second. That was not from Chet. I went off script. That was me. Please subscribe. Please like. I'm the expert. So are you. God bless. Have a bitchin' weekend. Peace.